baby hummingbird. Where's your mama? You should get away. Hi, baby hummingbird. We need to Google. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I haven't seen a baby hummingbird. Me neither. I don't want to put it on the ground because it's shrewd. He would eat. He would have a nice meal out of it. We do not want you to have a little. You don't see the mama in the garden. I mean, we do not want you to be a meal. Huh? You don't see the mama in the garden anywhere, do you? Was it making noise, Josh, or did you just see it? What? The bird. Was it making noise? Yeah, I just looked down and saw it. That's bizarre. I can't believe we didn't step on it. I like the colors. Yeah. Are you videoing, Bunny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little sweetie. Let's look them right at you. Curious. Yeah. Uh, it's what? wiggling. What'd you find? Like small, like small mammals that typically abandon their young after being touched by a human. Hummingbirds apparently have no sense of smell and no way of knowing that you've handled a baby. You can try putting a young hummingbird back in its nest. The nest? Neighborhood cats and dogs. And the mama will come find it? Do you want to go in a tree baby bird? You're the cutest thing ever. I've never seen a hummingbird. Well, I've never seen a baby hummingbird. I've Can seen an adult. Handling a hummingbird is difficult and best left to professionals. Contact your local wildlife rehabilitator for further instructions. So, ba. We are rescuing you, little hummingbird. Can we wedge it into that tree back, like put it on top of that bush behind the chair there? Like, so it's kind of protected. It doesn't have to be like up and down, it can just like flop it on top, you know what I mean? What? Find your web. Got the hummingbird on top of a bush. Such a cute little baby.